Okay, so following up the C++ anatomy example, um, we will create the same Hello World program with one exception. We will create uh, a function, and that's a concept uh, where you can group a set of C++ statements to perform at least one task. Let's uh, get into it. We open header file and uh, here we will create a hello world function that is a void function. <clears throat> what does that mean? It means that the function will execute one or more statements and then return back to the user or caller of that function. <clears throat> and I'll explain. <clears throat> we name the function hello world so here we have the name of the function hello world open close parentheses semicolon void means again that it does not return a value <clears throat> we come to the output.cpp and at the top we need this statement output.h why so that we can use the dot h file and the dot cp file as one compilation unit so we <clears throat> come here when our program is checked for errors and the compiler builds our program it will get the contents of that h and place them right here io stream as we had stated before allows us to use the c out object that lives in the standard library okay so we come here and we are going to add code to this function right here this concept is known as function header or function prototype <clears throat> and over here we will uh, write the code for it so we have to start with the name of the function and the same signature void open close parentheses no semicolon here open uh, close parent <coughs> curly brace meaning we are going to write code between these curly braces and that's what <coughs> will belong to the hello world function in this case all we want to do is say hello world and display that to the screen so we have the c out object we have the hello world is going to be fed into the c out object and the c out object knows how to send that to our display screen backslash n <clears throat> is a new line so it'll say hello world with two new lines afterward we save this piece we come here to main.cpp and main.cpp we have to tell main how to find this hello world uh, function to execute it <clears throat> we have to include a preprocessor directive that's a special command that the compiler understands and what it means in layman's terms is get the contents out of output.h and let me use them okay so we come here and we will say <coughs> in main this is also a function and recall that the main function is required by C++ one and only one function is required by C++ if this function does not exist in a program our code cannot be executed <coughs> We say hello world, open close parentheses. This is a function call to execute it. So we are saying <clears throat> execute hello world. We save it. We are going to place a breakpoint here. <clears throat> Click on run. And notice that 
It displays hello world. Okay, so what happens? Our program runs. The first statement is hello world. <coughs> A compiler goes and looks for the hello world function. It's here. It's comes here, executes this statement, hello world. Comes here, exits. So it exits and goes to the next statement, return zero, and our program <clears throat> ends. Again, return zero is optional. Uh, if we omit it, C++ will implicitly add it for us. And this is an example of a simple C++ program displaying hello world with a void function.